Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Lisa and in today's video, I'm doing another winter haul. I already have another one. I know it's only been a week. If you haven't checked out my other haul yet, go ahead and check this out. I was having so many lighting issues because it's been so gloomy in Vancouver and finally the sun is somewhat out. So I apologize if the last video wasn't as clear as it could be, but we are back in business. I think this setup is way better. Anyway, so with today's video, I only have two brands to share with you, but I'm very excited for both these brands because both of them are honestly some of my top tier favorite brands in the world. So the first one is going to be Oakenfor and the second one is going to be Revolve. And as usual, you are free to check out the items down below. I have everything listed in order, so make sure you go and check that out. So jumping right into the haul, I'm gonna start off first with the Oakenfort haul and I'm gonna go from the lightest material to the heaviest. I'm so excited for this haul because there's just so many items from their new collection that are just so staple that I just really, really, really wanna share with you. For Oakenfort, if you guys are new to the brand, a lot of their products are not going to be, you know, coming back constantly. It's not like Aritzia where the same style comes back over and over again, like, you know, the Molina pants that everyone has. So with Oakenfor, you know, you got to act fast because once they're sold out, it's done. It's sold out. Make sure if you're interested in the product to go ahead and shop ASAP. So another thing also is that this haul has actually inspired me to make another video later for winter essentials, which I think a lot of you have been asking me for. So stay tuned for that video as well. But without further ado, let's get started on the haul. Okay, starting with the first item, I already hinted at this in my last video for Pretty Little Thing because this type Type of scarf is very very in right now this is like a very chunky wool scarf with these type of frills at the bottom this is very different than some of the other scarves that you are accustomed to see they have very thin frills this is like very very wooly and to have the thick wool frills at the bottom I've been wearing this scarf absolutely non-stop I love the level of wool that this has because it adds the extra chunkiness look without the heaviness of the wool scarf. So you can see it on my Instagram already. I already have a picture of it back on my trip in Chilliwack, which by the way, the vlog is also up for that. So you can go check that out. The second item that I have from Oakenfort is also something I wore on my Chilliwack trip. It is this vest right here. I also have something similar, but I like this one with the white detailing here because it gives a very school girly vibe, a very preppy vibe. I recommend checking out this vest. And also I already have an outfit style for you for this item, as you can see on my Instagram. So if you follow me on Instagram, then you would have already seen this item, but I really did just get it. I love layering this with a white button up shirt underneath. It is just so chic and also with a skirt. And thankfully I'm in Vancouver right now, so it's not that cold, but it is such a look. I think this is definitely gonna be a staple in everyone's closet. The next item I have from Oakenfort is this shirt right here with the little frills at the bottom. So I'm just gonna pull it up for you guys to see. This is what the frills look like. They have it here at the bottom as well and here at the top. I really, really wanted this top because I feel like this would go really, really nicely with denim especially. And since we have, you know, the flare denim kind of back, I feel like it would look really good with it. And especially if you have like a simple dainty necklace because of the way the neckline is structured, I just feel like it would look so, so good. You guys know how much I love my dainty jewelry from Majuri. This top just really accentuates the jewelry as well and the denim and it has like a very like clean girl aesthetic We all know that that's going around right now. So it has like a very clean girl aesthetic vibe The next item that I have is just a basic turtleneck and this one is a little bit more fitted and it's a little bit thinner So it's not like a wooly turtleneck and if you guys didn't know and I feel like this is a little preview to my winter essentials haul but basically in my
my winter essentials haul, I'm gonna be talking about how you need, need, need almost like one of those skin tight turtlenecks. This one's not super skin tight. I think this one's like a medium grade one, but I just feel like these ones are really, really good for a lot of different occasions. That's why I like to have it in a lot of different colors. I just feel like when you invest in basics like this, there's just, you know, less chances of you needing to go shopping. You can keep this for a really long time and not everyone will know like, oh, that is that trendy item from, you know, that store or whatever. This is why I really like to have staple items like this. And oh my God, I'm getting so excited to show you guys my winter essentials haul. The next item that I have from Oakenfort is this pair of pants right here. Another thing on my wish list right now for winter is a white pair of pants that are like this. So this one is in more of like a taupey color. I really, really like the look of this. The most surprising thing about these pair of pants is I didn't have to get them hemmed. I am five foot one and okay, it is like just like a hairline a little bit too long. But when I wear my sneakers and I have the Air Force Ones, they are a little bit like platformed. So I feel like I actually don't really need to hem these. But this is one of those pants where I was like very pleasantly surprised that I didn't have to hem them. So if you are also short like me, I am five one. This pair of pants is really good for that flared look that goes over your shoes. The last item that I have from Oakenfort is this jacket right here. This is like a Sherpa jacket. And this is also a winter essential, honestly. So I'm really going into my video already, low key. But basically, this jacket here is a Sherpa jacket and Sherpa jackets are so warm. I don't know if you guys own any Sherpa jackets yourself, but I actually have three in total now, including this one. Back in Toronto, I have one in tan and that one I got it from H&M about two years ago. It still has not gone out of style. That one was only $80 and I kid you not, it is so warm. It is warmer than some of the parka jackets I have, which is so surprising. Some sort of Sherpa jacket is definitely a staple in your closet, especially in the winter time it's stylish and it goes with a lot of different going out cute outfits the best part is that it is so 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 warm okay going on to revolve so for revolve i got four things from there i got this sweater first i really like the detailing of the sweater it has this sort of detailing here with the line so i feel like it looks really really good if i wear it with the skirt and once again i've been really obsessed with this neckline as you can tell it's kind of just like it's not a turtleneck but it's not really a crew neck because it's not like super round it's not like this sweater here. It has kind of like an oval crew neck. I don't know. What is this called? Anyway, I feel like this is super cute and looks really great with skirts. And I've just been liking very neutral colors. This is like the most color I will go unless if it's green, because we all know I am currently having an obsession with green, which I'm going to go into in like two seconds. Okay. So just as I mentioned, the next product that I have for you from Revolve is this green vest, this exact shade of green or kind of like a bright green. So like a dark green or like a bright green is the only two options that are very trendy right now, as you may remember my dynamite hat from the last haul, but I just absolutely have been obsessed with green. And I actually realize why I've been obsessed with green because I'm very into numerology. If you guys follow along on the vlogs, you guys will know this about me, but essentially I found out that my personal year in 2022, the number I believe is four and it also reflects the color green. So having green in my life is actually quite beneficial and will uplift my energy. So it's been a very good year for me to have this color in my life. So I'm very, very excited. The last clothing item before I get into the pair of shoes that I got from Revolve is this jacket right here. I am saying this so slowly because if you had to take away anything, anything from this haul, it is this freaking jacket. Like you need this jacket. I don't care what you look like, who you are. I feel like this jacket will look good on every single freaking person. It is so cute. When I put it on, I'm just like to my mom, I'm like, do I not look fucking amazing? <laughs> and she's like, yes, I agree. So it has like a tie here. It's a puffer jacket. So it's perfect for winter. It is a little bit trendy. So I think I am very curious about if this jacket is going to stand the test of time. Like, I don't think it's going to make it to my capsule wardrobe, but for this year in particular, it is so cute. I'm so obsessed with this jacket. It just has this little, like almost like a wool coat type of vibe up here, but it's really not. It's like very like, you know, like that 
that material and you can tie it right up here and it looks so cute with leggings and I'm gonna show you my tall black booth. It's such a vibe. It is so cute. It's so cute. You need it. The last item that I have from Revolve are these cowboy boots right here. I guess I didn't put this on YouTube, but if you follow my Instagram, I've been having an obsession with cowboy boots. I've styled them quite a few times. They're my tall black ones from Zara and I've been wanting white ones for also the longest time. I've been searching all over the world for the perfect looking like white ones. I have a very specific style in my head. So I found a couple of white cowboy boots like, you know, a long time ago, but none of them really fit the exact look that I was going for until I saw these from Revolve. These are literally the perfect length that I've been looking for. The color and the style, it's not too out there. It's not too cowboy-y. It's very, very still like staple enough for the closet. I wouldn't say that this is like perfect for a Toronto winter, but since I'm in Vancouver right now, I already wore this out in one of my outfits. If you guys follow me on Instagram, I think it should be posted by now, but I will leave a picture here. I just feel like this pair of shoes really goes with everything, especially this is not only going to last me through kind of like spring in Vancouver, but definitely in the summer, I feel like cowboy boots are definitely making a comeback. It started making a comeback kind of mid to end of last year, and I do not see it going away. So if you guys are planning on getting cowboy boots, the earlier the better, so you can prep yourself for the summertime. Anyway, that is pretty much the haul for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I can't wait to show you guys my winter capsule wardrobe. Hope you guys stay tuned for that video as well, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.